The monsoon will soon sweep into the Himalayas ending the climbing season on Mount Everest and it has been a success. Hundreds of people have reached the summit, one an 80 year old man from Japan. But as the 60th anniversary of the first summit draws near, there are concerns that the roof of the world is becoming dangerously congested. Yuichiro Miura never imagined that at the age of 80 he would ascend Everest. I've made it, he tells his daughter from the summit. He's the oldest person to reach the 8,848-metre peak this season. Nepali Canadian Sudarshan Gautam became the first person without hands to make the ascent. Raha Muharak, the first Saudi woman. <laughs> Next week marks the 60th anniversary since Sir Edmund Hillary and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay did the seemingly impossible. Now, Everest is the ultimate test for adventure travelers. Some are experienced climbers, many are not, paying up to $80,000 to be guided to the summit. I just had the biggest two days of my life. Sydney real estate agent Stephen Bock made his ascent in 2010. I'd read about Everest, I'd dreamed about Everest, I'd, I'd uh, watched every probably film, documentary was ever produced about Everest and, and it was just this growing passion throughout my life and the thing I, I needed to know, could I do it? That, that's, that's what it was all about. The roof of the world has never been more accessible. With more accurate weather forecasting and new climbing technology, this season more than 450 people have reached the summit. Each season there are only a few days of clear weather. Human traffic jams form in a rush for the top. Earlier this month, fighting broke out between Western climbers and Sherpa guides. Ascending and descending climbers are also held up in what's called the death zone. The weather can close in and mistakes are easily made among exhausted climbers. We certainly saw all of that. We saw bodies, we saw people that were, were um, uh, you know, on, on the edge and, and you can't train for it. Four climbers have died this year. There were 10 fatalities in 2012, including 33-year-old Canadian entrepreneur Shreya Shaklofin. An investigation found she ignored warnings to turn back. She reached the top, but ran out of oxygen on descent. Her body was carried down 10 days later. The bodies of others remain where they fell, conditions too dangerous for retrieval. Despite the dangers, Stephen Bulk hopes people will never stop reaching for the top. I hope the mountain remains accessible going forward. For people who have trained appropriately, they've, they've paid the probation period, they've climbed other peaks and they've, and they've got the relevant experience. But I think there's nothing greater for, for the human spirit than to go after life courageously and, and do what you need to do. The lure of the mountain will always attract climbers, but with increasing popularity comes increasing risk. Katrina Yu, World News Australia.